Susie Hart. I'm from a charity called Craft Aid International and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these really beautiful bears from the bear kit which you have no doubt bought or been given or been thinking about buying. And uh, these bears are made from entirely upcycled and repurposed materials that we've been donated and we've then boil washed them to turn them into felt and we've cut out all these beautiful pieces using very simple die cutting equipment uh, called a Sizzix machine. And this is just a hand cranked machine, it's almost like a little mangle and it's just brilliant for the differently able people who come along to our weekly craft sessions who've cut out all the different pieces in your kit because they literally only need to be able to use one hand to turn the handle and they can cut out all these beautiful shapes and then package them into the kit which you have now got. So let's have a look at how we make it. So first of all take all the pieces out of your kit and just um, assemble the face how you want it move the bits around, it's really surprising how different you can make the expression on the bear depending on how high or how wide you put the eyes and so on. And you can see from these two examples here, you know, what a different look we've got just by very sort of slight differences in the size of the eyes and how we've positioned them and how we've embroidered the mouth. So put the pieces where you want them, uh, fix them on with a little bit of glue stick to stop them moving around and that just makes it easier when you start embroidering them and then just use whatever embroidery stitch you would like just a simple running stitch or a stab stitch or a little blanket stitch we've got around this one um, just to fix all those pieces on now if you are going to give this bear when it's finished to a little person who's under three and they are brilliant presents for tiny people um, then just make sure that you stitch it all on really really well and then there's nothing for them to chew and pull off and swallow. So once you've got all the pieces stitched onto the face, the next thing to do is to stitch the ears together. So put the two pieces together in two bears like that, and then just stitch around the edge. Now we've made our bears um, mostly on a sewing machine, and we've just stitched a little seam, just a little way in from the edge, all the way around. You can see on this bear, um, we've actually just used a single thickness of ear and we haven't done the stitching, we've just stitched it in at the base. So there's different ways you can do the ears. And the ears are quite a generous size. So depending on the look that you want for your bear, uh, you could sort of have them completely full size like that in which you get quite a tall ear or you can place them further in so you get a shorter ear. There's lots of different ways that you can do it. And equally, you could hand stitch this. You don't have to do it on a sewing machine. So having decided how you want to stitch your ears together, just place them on the back piece of the head like that. Place the top of the head on the top like that. And you will of course have embroidered these down so they're not going to move at this point. And you can then stitch all the way around the edge. And I would just put a couple of pins in there to stop those ears moving because you've worked out exactly where you want them to be. And then just stitch from here all the way around to there. And that will give you the head. So the next thing to do is to stitch together the limbs. So you've got eight pieces of felt like this in your kit and you just want to put them together in pairs and then again just stitch all the way around the edge either on a sewing machine or by hand. Usually when you're sewing things together you'd put right sides together, you'd stitch around the edge and then you'd turn it inside out. Because we've got these lovely thick fabrics we're not going to do that with these bears and if you try to do that you'll probably find it's quite tricky. So I really would suggest that you just do it in this way, stitch around the edge and leave the seam showing and it's really kind of part of the look of these beautiful upcycled bears. So having stitched all four limbs together you then want to take two of them which you're going to use for the arms and just cut one at an angle like that and then to make them match put that one on top of that one get your scissors and just cut like that so that you've got two matching arms. The next thing to do is to take the two body pieces and just lay them right sides together um, they might not have you know a right side or a wrong side per se but just decide what you want the front to be and what's going to be the inside and then put them right sides together then to work out where your stitching is going to be just lay your arm pieces on like that firstly and then just put a little pin there and there there and there to show where you want the gap to be for your arms same with the legs take your leg place it where you want it to be and then you want to just leave a little bit at the edge and then put a pin next to it there same on that side and that will just be very very helpful to show you where you're going to do the stitching on this body 
So as you can see, we've stitched from the neck down to there, left a hole, see, there's a gap there, and then from here, just a little bit round the bottom, stopped there, another bit of stitching there, same from here, up to that arm, leave a gap for the arm, and then that bit for the top of the shoulder. And that is it. So once you've done that, you can start stuffing your limbs. So if you just uh, take one of the uh, pairs of pieces of felt that you've already stitched together, get your stuffing, shove that in there, and you'll find that a pencil is a really handy thing for just getting that stuffing in there nice and firmly. So once you've got enough in there, let's just finish that one off. There we go, that'll do. Put it down and fill all four of your limbs. So at this point, you would take your pins out. We don't need those anymore. And then just turn the body of your bear inside out like this, or rather right side out, because of course we started with it uh, with right sides together. So there we go, there is our body shape. So the next thing to do is to get some of the stuffing that came in your kit and stuff the body. And you'll find that it won't all come sort of piling straight out of the holes in the bottom or at the sides, uh, because being woolen felt, you know, it all kind of sticks together so it doesn't just fall out of the holes. So that's very helpful. And you can just stuff this as, as much or as little as you want, depending on whether you want your bear to be quite sort of floppy or, you know, a little bit chunkier. So just carry on putting all the stuffing in there until it's as full as you want it to be. There we go. Lovely. Then you want to stuff the um, head of the bear as well. And you are then ready to start stitching all the limbs onto the body. I've got one here that I started making earlier. So I've stuffed the head, I've stuffed the arms, I've stuffed the legs, and I have inserted the arms and the head into the holes in my body of the bear. And what you do is you just turn the edge of each hole before inserting that particular limb or the head and then do a little invisible stitch to stitch them together. And again, if you're giving this to a very little person, make sure that you stitch the limbs on really, really well. So with this one, just fold in the edges of the hole in the torso there so that you can insert the leg nicely into that hole like that. And then get yourself a piece of thread that's the same colour as the body, but not in the end. And then just fit that through like that so that the knot is hidden inside. And then just very carefully go around doing little tiny stitches. And as I say, if you're giving this to a little person, you want these stitches to be small and close together and very tight. And in fact, it would be a good idea to use a button thread or double your thread so that you know they're really, really firmly on. Yeah. So we just do that all the way around until that is complete. Okay, so once you have got all the limbs of your bear really well stitched on, um, if you are doing a boy bear, you're pretty much done. Uh, there should be a little piece of wool in your uh, kit which you can tie around the back of the neck like that and that just makes a lovely neckerchief. If you're making a girl bear, you've got a little bit more work to do. So there should be a lovely long piece of net in your kit. So fold it in half lengthwise and then just do a running stitch that's just in and out, in and out. And all the way along the length of your net like that and then pull it nice and tightly and you get a little tutu then you just want to arrange that around the waist of your bear turn her over and just get that to join up at the back so take your thread from one edge of the tutu to the other edge of the tutu and then just pull that together like that. There we go. And do a few little stitches 
to fix those firmly together again so that that doesn't come off. And if you wanted to, you could also just do a little stitch along those two edges there as well to hold that together. There we go, I'm just going to tie that thread off like that. Lovely. Okay, snip that and then again from the front you can just wriggle that about until you've got the skirt where you want it to be. Now in some of the kits we've put an extra little piece of lace as well so that you could do a second layer to her skirt if you want to. But every kit is a little bit different because they're all made from upcycled materials which we have been donated. I go to give a lot of talks about the work of Craft Aid International in the UK and overseas to lots of different groups, schools, rotary clubs, for optimists, anyone will have me basically. And I'll give advance warning that there are lots of different things that people can donate that we will then use. So things like um, old blankets, pieces of felt, bits of ribbon, zips, buttons, you name it, we can use it. And people have been very kind over the years and giving us lots of lovely things. And the differently able people who come to our sessions once a week in Harrogate, Ripon and Leeds just really enjoy using all these different materials. And they've cut them up to make all the different beautiful things that are in your kit. So we've got our almost finished bear here. The last thing that we're going to do is just decorate her with some of the little flowers that are in your kit. As you've probably realised, um, these coloured elements are made from old woolly jumpers that we've then boil washed, turned into felt and cut up into the beautiful shapes that you're using to embellish your bear. So I think I'm going to put that flower just on the waistband of my bear there and another little one up here by her ear. Now again if you're giving this to a small child you definitely want to stitch this on with button thread or with double thread. Stitch it on really really well so that they can't take it off and eat it. But this bear is for my daughter who is quite a bit past the age of eating things that she shouldn't most of the time. So I'm using a glue gun just for speed. So there we go. There's the flower on her waistband. And let's have the other little flowers up by her ear over here. One, two. If you're using a glue gun, remember it's very hot and don't burn yourself. And again, if you were giving this to a child or keeping it for yourself and it wasn't for somebody under three, then there are lots of other lovely things you could do to embellish her. You could give her a little necklace of beads, um, you could embroider on some eyelashes. And if this is for a little person, they make fantastic sleep toys because you can uh, scent them with lavender essential oil and that will help your little person go to sleep. So I really hope that you've enjoyed making your bear and that you've enjoyed watching this video. Also in your box, you'll find an exciting craft aid leaflet, which will tell you a little bit about the work that we do with differently able people in the UK and in the developing world. So do have a look at that. Have a look around the website, look at some of the other videos. And if you'd like to support the work we do, there's information on how you can do that as well. Thank you very much.